Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today, I'm getting ready to show you guys how you can make a fantastic garlic ranch chicken wing. And with that being said, listen, this is super easy. It's got a fast prep time. And when I say fast, I mean extremely fast. So if you're looking for a new wing, something to put together, you know, uh, getting away from like that uh, lemon pepper, you know, barbecue wings, you know, things of that nature, or you're trying to add to your arsenal, this is it right here. And please don't let that uh, simplicity of the prep time and the cook, you know, deter you. It doesn't sacrifice nothing on flavor. If you add, uh, for me to tell you guys, listen, it's quickly becoming my number one wing. So with that being said, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and cover this part too. You can make these in the air fryer, which that's gonna be the tool of choice today. I'm making them in the air fryer because that's like super convenient for myself. Or you can make them in the oven. You wanna heat up, you know what I mean? Heat up your oven, preheat it. We gonna go with 400 degrees. If you're gonna use an oven, if you're gonna use an air fryer, we gonna go ahead and go with 375 degrees. So with that being said, you guys, let's just go ahead and break right into this video. Okay, here, listen, I just wanted to start off by showing you guys what makes cooking so much easier is when you get yourself some little small bowls, you measure out your ingredients, and you put your ingredients in those bowls. It makes it so much easier when it comes time that, you know, you need that ingredient, you can go ahead and dump it. And as you can see, we got mayo, paprika, garlic salt. Listen, garlic salt can be substituted with a gar garlic powder, either or. If you use the powder, then you just want to add one te teaspoon of uh, salt. Then, you know, we got fresh garlic and ranch dry pack so listen let me start off by saying this also listen when it comes to meat you always want to wash your meat thoroughly and then after you wash your meat you go ahead you can see what I'm doing right here I'm just going ahead and uh, patting it dry instead of saying patting it you know might as well say I'm really really drying those uh, those drumettes so once I'm done with that real simple get my Ziploc bag and then we want to start putting our ingredients inside of the Ziploc bag and this right here is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. At the end of this, you're gonna hear me say, but I'm gonna say it right now. If it wasn't for this video, what I would do is measure out my ingredients and just put them right into the Ziploc bag. Again, I just wanna show you guys, especially you guys that are new, you know what I mean? You know, like tackling the, uh, I don't know if tackling would be the right word, but those are new, getting ready to start, you know, on a cooking venture. It's just better to always measure out your ingredients and then use them. So we just wanna get in the habit of that. And as you can see, we're just getting our ingredients, pouring them into the bag. Once we get them in the bag, we're going to do it. You know, we're going to stir them up, you know, mix them up, you know, mix our ingredients up good. And after that, then we're going to go ahead and add our chicken. As always, for the full recipe, I'll leave that down in the description box below. Now I'm using my Phillips Turbo Star Air Fryer, but if you're going to bake them, you want to bake them for 45 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or until the top so the wings are golden and the skin, skin is nice and crisp. Now setting the temperature for the air fryer, we're going to go with 375 degrees for 25 minutes. And once they're done, this is what you have right here. Nice golden brown. You know, listen, they super hot. You can see the steam coming off of them. And that right there is nothing like having a fresh, hot, you know chicken wings and with that being said you guys well there you go garlic ranch chicken wings so what do you guys think about that there super easy huh hey listen i got a confession for you guys you know what you saw me do it i set them all you know my ingredients i put them in little bowls or whatever that's more so for this video you know what i mean just to show you guys you know what that's the key to cooking making things simple but to make it even simpler, if it wasn't a video, what I would have done was open up the Ziploc bag, took my ingredients, and as I measured them, just dumped them right into the bag, you know, mixed them up, and then added my chicken. Hey, if you guys are following me, follow me on Instagram. You'll see a link somewhere, 
I don't know, my uh, Instagram will come somewhere, you know, down here somewhere. Listen, you can go ahead and see some of the uh, spectacular wings that I've been uh, creating over the past couple of months. And listen, we was just getting ready for the big game. So if, whether you're doing something huge with a, a lot of different wings or if you're doing, you just want to like lay back, you know, kick back and watch the game yourself or just, you know what, just have movie night and have yourself some uh, finger foods, you know, some type of appetizer. This is just an easy busy video for you guys to uh, follow. So we're getting ready to just open up the playbook, you know what I mean, and start creating a lot of different wings. And again, I just want to recap from what I said earlier. You can make these in the air fryer or you can make it in the oven. So with that being said, I just want to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. I'm out. Peace.